In this problem, a plane passes directly above a radar station with an altitude of six kilometers. So here's a radar station on the ground and the plane is flying six kilometers overhead and that six does not change in the problem. So I'm gonna label that as six. The plane's speed is 400 kilometers per hour. We're gonna let theta be the angle that the line through the radar station and the plane makes with the horizontal. So this would be theta right there. How fast is theta changing 12 minutes after the plane passes over the radar station? So what we want to find in this problem is the rate of change of theta with respect to time when t is 12 minutes. However, let's convert that to hours because the speed given is in kilometers per hour. So 12 minutes is the same as a fifth of an hour. Right, 12 over 60. So we actually want d theta dt when t is a fifth of an hour or 12 minutes. Okay, it says we know that the plane's speed is 400 kilometers per hour. The plane's speed is the distance that this leg of this triangle, it's the distance of that leg of the triangle, the length of that leg, it's the rate at which that distance is changing. So we need to give it a variable name as well. So I'm gonna call that x. Uh, x being the distance between the point directly above the radar station and the plane. And then we know we're given that the rate of change of x is positive 400 kilometers per hour. And we know that it's positive because as the plane flies, x increases. Now we need an equation that relates theta and x. Um, the trig equation that I'm going to choose here is tangent because we also know the opposite side uh, of the triangle from theta. So we know that tangent of theta is equal to six over x. And you can differentiate both sides of this equation. You could also use cotangent, which actually would be nice because that would put your variable up in the numerator. I'm actually going to solve for theta to get theta equals tangent inverse of six over x. I'm gonna write it as six x to the minus one though, simply because the derivative of tangent inverse is actually quite simple. If I differentiate tangent theta, I'm gonna end up with a secant theta, which I'm gonna have to find as well. So this avoids having to find other trig values at 12 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna take the derivative with respect to time of both sides of this equation. To get d theta dt equals the derivative of tangent inverse of this function. So by the chain rule, we differentiate the outer function tangent inverse to get one over, normally it would be x squared plus one, but I'm gonna put my inside function squared plus one times the derivative of six x to the minus one, which would be negative six x to the minus two times dx dt by the chain rule. Okay, and let's bring that, now let's just keep going with it right here actually. So I'm gonna put this negative six um, up here in the numerator. This x to the minus two, I'm gonna put down in the denominator and simplify this as well. So six squared is 36 times x to the minus two, I'm gonna write as over x squared, that's this first term, plus one. This x to the minus two, let's throw it down here in the denominator as x to the positive two and this is all times dx dt. So when we distribute this x squared out, we get 36 plus x squared times dx dt. It's a very nice simplified version for the d theta dt. So we're going to need x at the moment when theta is, or at the moment when t is 12 minutes or one fifth of an hour so that we can plug x in down here. So we need x at the moment t equals one fifth of an hour. Well, we can find x pretty easily because 
the rate of change of x, or the plane, the speed of the plane is flying at 400 kilometers per hour. So after a fifth of an hour, it has traveled a fifth of 400 kilometers, or 80 kilometers. I'm out of space, so I'm going to bring this back up here to get that d theta dt when t is a fifth of an hour is equal to negative 6 over 36 plus 80 squared times dx dt is positive 400. So this comes to approximately, let's see, get the calculator out here. So we have uh, 80 squared plus 36 in the denominator there. And we're going to make that into the denominator. Multiply it times 6 and times 400 to get negative 0.3729. Negative 0 0.32. If we're rounding to two decimal places, looks like that would be 373 at the bottom. Negative 0.3. 7, 3. That's going to be in radians per hour, right?